Prevention is better than cure is a proverb credited to Dutch philosopher Desiderius Erasmus around 1500. And when it comes to being stabbed, we would rather not share a similarity with Swiss cheese. Preventing knife wounds is a much better option than trying to stop the blood pouring out. But how can you stop a knife from entering your body and still appear dressed for daily life? This is Materials Lab, and today we are going to look at stab-proof clothing. The best option to blend into normal life is slash-resistant clothing. The material, named Cuttex Pro, is an ultra-high performance slash-resistant fabric made from an innovative combination of ultra-high molecular weight and other technical fibers weaved by special high-density knitting machines. Many knife attackers want to stab a person. However, in most cases, they end up slashing the victim. This clothing protects the wearer from a significant cut. This is the first line of defense against a knife attack. The next requires something a bit heavier and can deal with stabbings. Now this type of clothing is best complemented with a stab-proof vest. High-performance stab-resistant body armor protects from knives and edged weapons, but also shanks and spikes, hypodermic needles and blunt force. This type of armor is worn on top of the clothing and can be deployed quickly when needed. When it comes to creating these stab-proof vests, hybridization is a special process used. The use of a material called aramid is important. Aramid is short for aromatic polyamide. They first appeared commercially in the early 1960s. Aramid offers high strength, non-conductive and low flammability. These unique characteristics derive from the combination of having stiff polymer molecules with a strong crystal orientation as well as close interaction between the polymer chains due to the hydrogen bonds. When layers of aramid fiber are infused with thermoplastic film and then wetted with the dilatant shear thickening fluid, then the armor is completely different from the beginning. Scientists use Serlin thermoplastic film of one-eighth of an inch thickness for the task. Thermoplastic impregnated aramid fiber fabric is used on the top and bottom of a stack of layers, a grouping of shear thickening fluid saturated hydrophilic aramid fiber and other supplemental composites in between. During testing, the hybrid armor with the impregnated fabrics exhibited improved stab resistance to both knife and spike threats. Currently in development is a material that is flexible like cloth, but can stiffen on demand. Scientists from NTU Singapore and Caltech developed what they call a new type of chain mail. The lightweight fabric is 3D printed from nylon plastic polymers and comprises hollow octahedrons that interlock with each other. The soft fabric is wrapped within a flexible plastic envelope and vacuum packed. It turns into a rigid structure that is 25 times stiffer or harder to bend than when relaxed. The future of these materials could pave the way for having better protection in all aspects of our lives. So not only could this material prevent you from being injured, but it could also help those with health issues. With an engineered fabric that is lightweight and tunable, easily changeable from soft to rigid, we can use it to address the needs of patients and the aging population. Two, for instance, to create exoskeletons that can help them stand, carry loads and assist them with their daily tasks. Assistant Professor Wang Yifan. When it comes to self-protection, slash and stab-proof clothing is the first line of defense for many of those in the emergency services, security, or if you feel threatened. And what style? Tactical. <laughs>